Meteorologist Michael Sager for a look at your weather headlines. What's going on, Michael? Uh, we've got great stuff to start out the week. Looking beautiful today, tomorrow, and even most of Wednesday. Looking absolutely amazing. If you've got any outdoor plans, they are going to be good to go. Next cold front comes in Wednesday night into early Thursday, and that's what's going to cool us off as we go into Thursday and Friday, so we will be a little cooler to finish out the week and there may be a small chance we get a couple showers and storms with that front as well. We're going to look at that in just a second. This morning though, looking really good. Some high level clouds have been filtering through this morning, but nothing that's going to produce any precipitation for us. And if you are heading out for the morning drive, no issues at all for you. Weather wise, we're in great shape. 37 right now in Tulsa, but we've got some colder spots down into the 20s as you get away from the metro, but that's typical for this time of year. So just grab a coat. You'll be good to go this morning but probably will not need those coats by later on today. Let's take a look at that forecast as we head into the rest of your Monday. Temperatures warming up 50s by lunchtime and then by later this afternoon. Most of us make a run to near 60 degrees for the high, although there may be a few of us north and east that struggle to make it to that 60 degree mark. But for this time of year, we will take it south breeze about 10 to 20 miles per hour. We'll fall back down mostly into the 30s overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning, and then we warm right back up into the 60s tomorrow afternoon maybe even a few degrees warmer tomorrow compared to what we are going to see today as we keep that southerly flow going. I think we'll be mild again on Wednesday, but then by Wednesday evening and Wednesday night as a cold front approaches, there is a chance we could get a few showers and thunderstorms, and I think most of this is going to stay to the east of Highway 75. Overall, severe weather threat looking fairly low, but not necessarily zero, maybe a marginal wind and hail threat. We'll keep an eye on this as we go into Wednesday evening and Wednesday night. That should push to the east as we head into very early on Thursday morning, and then the cooler air comes in behind that front. But during the daytime hours on Wednesday, I think we'll be in really good shape. Maybe a few more clouds around compared to what we'll see the next couple of days, but still a run into the mid-60s. And then we do cool it off Thursday and Friday upper 40s to near 50 degrees for the high, which is a bit more typical for this time of year. Average high would be in the upper 40s, but we warm it right back up. Look at this weekend. 56 on Saturday, 60 on Sunday. Beautiful weather for those weekend plans as well. And look at the mild stretch of weather with highs in the 60s to start out next week. Maybe some slight rain chances in there as we go into the middle of next week. We'll continue to fine tune that as we get a bit closer.